Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Roussel, and welcome to the Sleep to Perform series sponsored by Technogel. In today's video, we're going to talk about sleep and its impacts on athletic and sports performance. So most of the time with athletic performance, you're usually going to think about how much time you're practicing, uh, your recovery, maybe leading up to a game, time in the weight room, but how much time you're sleeping, or maybe even your diet, but how much time you're sleeping is rarely brought into consideration when you talk about high athletic uh, performance or sports performance. But there's really, really interesting research coming out, more and more showing that inadequate sleep is going to have negative effects on athletic and sports performance. Now this is really a growing area of research and since there are so many variables and with lots of different kinds of activity with athletic performance, there's still a lot to learn. But there are some really interesting things that I want to share with you today and then also some things that you want to consider when you're looking at improving your performance. So whether you're a high school, college, professional athlete, or if maybe you're just someone like myself who just likes to train hard and try to perform it the best that I can, you know, you'll see that sleep is a major component. So when we look at increasing athletic performance and the impact that sleep has on it, there are three main areas. So we look at muscular function, cognitive function, and then also metabolism. So we look at muscular function, right? If you're a basketball player, because I'll use an example of a study with basketball players from Stanford University, but if you're a basketball player, right, your muscles need to work. Like, is lack of sleep going to be impacting your ability to sprint? In the study from Stanford that I'll talk about, they actually showed that with greater sleep, the basketball players were able to improve their sprint times. So we have muscular performance. Now of the three that we'll talk about, this is the one that's actually the least impacted by not enough sleep. So the next one is cognitive function or performance. Now if we go back to basketball, right, you think there's a lot of you know, mental activity, there's a lot of thinking, there's a lot of fine tuning of motor movements that needs to happen for you to perform at your best. Now, with that study that I referred to, uh, the Stanford basketball players, what they did was they looked at, if we increase the, um, the sleep that these basketball players are getting, how's that going to impact both their free throw and also their three-point shooting percentages? So what the researchers did was, over the course of several weeks, they worked with the athletes to increase the amount of time they were sleeping to about 110 extra minutes. So this is a little bit more than an hour and a half. So you're looking at between one to one and a half full sleep cycles. Um, if you remember from the stages of sleep video, we talked about what a sleep cycle is and the different components. So if you haven't watched that video, you can find it uh, either on a link below or another video on the, YouTube, on, this, on the YouTube channel. We talk about the different stages of sleep. But so they added about one or one and a half sleep cycles to these athletes' um, sleep regimens. And what they found was a 9% increase in their three-point shooting percentages and a 9.3% increase in their free throw shooting percentages. So I can tell you that any basketball player that you'll talk to would love to be able to shoot an extra 9% better from both the three point and the free throw line. And that's really the power of the impact on increased sleep on mental acuity and their hand-eye coordination and also that cognitive performance. So the last piece, the third piece, there's muscular, there's cognitive performance, and then there's metabolism. You know, we know that from the last video we talked about uh, sleep and weight loss, we know that neg negative sleep, not enough sleep, is going to negatively impact metabolism, specifically glucose metabolism. So how your body's processing and using the sugars to fuel your workouts. And if you're looking to you know, perform it the best you can and eke every ounce of energy out of the calories that you're eating so you can function at your highest level, not getting enough sleep is going to negatively impact that. So those are really the three main factors that you need to look at when you're considering the impacts of sleep on athletics and sports performance. Now there was another study that which surveyed athletes and looking at the quality of their sleep. And what they found was 75% of those athletes weren't getting adequate sleep with good enough quality. So when we look at duration of sleep, also we're looking at how good is that sleep. Now in the last video in the series, we're going to talk about tips and tricks so you can get more and get better sleep but know that most athletes out there, maybe three quarters of them, aren't getting enough. So if you want to perform at your best, 
whether you're a competitive athlete or you're like me, just a recreational athlete, you want to get enough sleep so you can really optimize those three areas. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm Dr. Mike Roussel. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel or visit my blog at microcell.com. And thanks again for our sponsors, Technogel. That's going to wrap it up for this video in the Sleep to Perform series.